Hello, I'm Pratik Singh and in this video, we're going to talk about candlestick patterns. Now, candlestick patterns are price action in the most purest form. As a technical analyst, you want to analyze price first, which means was the market generally bullish or bearish in a particular time frame? or a series of timeframes that develops a trend. And canistic patterns can really help us understand the mass psychology of the mass participation that's happening in the market. Now, there are many canistic patterns that you can learn. In fact, there's so many, it'll take a while to learn them all. So it's not really practical to learn all of them. We'll discuss only a few. Another thing that I notice new people get distracted with is the exactness of a pattern. Don't get distraught with that. All you need to understand is whether a pattern was bullish or bearish. Don't get into the textbook definition of each of these patterns because that's a rabbit hole. So there are two types of candlesticks. You have the single candlestick patterns and the multiple candlestick patterns. Within single candlestick, you have the marobuzo, the doji, spinning tops, hammer, and the hanging man. For multiple candlestick patterns, you have the bullish engulfing, the bearish engulfing, the piercing pattern, the dark cloud cover, and the morning and evening star. You might be thinking these have some really esoteric and interesting names. Well, as you know, candlesticks has come from Japanese rice traders. So you see a lot of names that have some Japanese origin or something to do with that time. There are also a few candlestick cardinal rules and we'll talk about them, three of them to be exact. The first one is buy strength and sell weakness, which generally means that if you're looking at trends, you must buy up trends and sell down trends. And if you're looking at a single candlestick and selling a bearish candlestick. So buy strength and sell weakness. The second cardinal rule we have over here is just be flexible with patterns. I mentioned this earlier that looking at a textbook definition and comparing it to the real world will only make you go crazy and lose your hair. So don't do that. Try to understand the psychology behind each pattern and see how it fits in the real world and understand whether it's an indecision, whether it's bullish or whether it's bearish. And finally, we have look always at the prior trend. So this also means context. If we think that a certain pattern is bullish, it will mean something completely different in an uptrend and it may mean something completely different in a downtrend. More interestingly, a lot of these patterns just don't seem to work in a sideways trend. So seeing a candlestick in isolation will never work. The prior trend is probably more important than the pattern itself. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about single candlestick patterns and we'll go through these guys in detail one by one. The key takeaways from this video are 